we are continuing with reproduction in mammals. So let's look at some, some more examples of questions. Question one, which of the pathways below is the correct path for a release sperm to get to where it fertilizes an egg? Option A, cervix to upper ovidot to lower ovidot and to uterus. B, cervix to lower ovidot to uterus and to upper ovidot. C, cervix to uterus, uterus to upper ovidot, then to lower ovidot. D, cervix to uterus, uterus to lower ovidot and lower ovidot to upper ovidot. You, this question becomes simple if you know the diagram of the female reproductive structure. And so you will discover that the sperm will have to pass through the cervix, through the uterus, to through lower ovidot before getting to upper ovidot. So D is the answer. Question two In which of the main structures will sex cell never be found? A. Epididymis, B. Urethra, Urethra, C. Vast difference, and D. Urethra. Now, epididymis is where stems are stored in the tetis. C. Is the sperm dot, a dot that conducts sperm from epididymis to urethra. Urethra is the path through which ejaculation occurs. Now, B is ureter. Ureter carries urine from kidney to urinary bladder. So we sperm cells or sex cell is never expected to be found in ureter. Answer to number two is option P. Number three, which of these processes brings about formation of diploid cell? A. Ovulation B. Ejaculation C. Fertilization D. Compilation Now, diploid cell is a cell where pairs of homologous chromosomes are found. Homologous chromosomes come from both male and female parents. So, ovulation will not bring male and female uh, chromosomes together. Ejaculation is only releasing the male uh, chromosome, uh, cells with, with male chromosome to the female. Copulation is a process that will lead to ejaculation. So it's fertilization that is bringing combination of the male and female gametes, that is the chromosomes together. So answer to question three is option C, fertilization. Question four. Which of these membranes form the placenta? A. Choroid B. Amnion C. Alanthos D. Yolk Yolk is not a membrane. It is the food for the imagine membrane, um, embryo. Amnion is the membrane that form, that form a sac around the embryo with fluid. Alantoid is the membrane that forms a oblique cord that connects the baby to the placenta. It, part of it also forms part of the uh, placenta. But the major membrane that forms the placenta is the choroid. So answer is choroid. Question 5. When a man, a female releases two ova at the same time and get fertilized. Which of these statements will not be will not be true? A. The eggs will be fertilized by two different sperms. B. Identical twins are produced. C. Each of the emerging embryos develops separate placenta. D. The resultant babies are either of same sex or not. Now, the, wo the woman releases two eggs, and the two eggs are fertilized. We know that an egg is usually fertilized by one sperm. 
So the first statement, the X will be fertilized by two different sperm, is correct. Let's look at option C. Each of the emerging embryos develops separate placenta. Since they are fertilized differently, they, are, they develop different placenta. D. The resultant babies are either of the same sex or not. They are like just any of the uh, brothers and sisters in the family. So they can either be the same sex, as we have uh, if some family all girls, or it can be a different sex is a boy and a girl. So uh, well, the one that is not true statement about it is identical twins are formed. It cannot be. Because identical twins are formed, identical twins are formed from one fertilized egg that is split into two. So answer to our question is B. Identical twins are formed. It is not true of the scenario we created.